With constantly changing trends, I am always asked if there are any decorating staples that will be usable for years to come, that will stand the test of time. And my answer is always yes. And trays in various shapes and sizes are one of those decorative staples to always have on hand. Trays are amazing in home decor because they actually serve several purposes. They corral items that could otherwise look cluttered and haphazard like kitchen tools and soaps and things like that. They ground vignettes and displays. They also make the items on them look purposeful and decorative when otherwise they wouldn't. They can add texture and color of their own to a space and they're really easy to move around if needed. Trays are also super versatile in home decor because they can be used in so many different spaces. They can be used on coffee tables, buffets, sideboards to hold purely decorative items. They can be used on kitchen counters to hold tools and and spices and soaps and all of those things that otherwise sort of just scatter and contribute to a cluttered looking kitchen. They can be used in bathrooms to hold makeup and perfumes and hair supplies and things like that. They can be used in entryways and mudrooms to hold keys and mail and papers and all those other things that come into the house so that they're in one contained spot. They can also be used on nightstands, coffee tables and end tables to hold things like books, cups, remotes, um, your spare chapstick, anything like that. Trays are also really versatile in home decor and go with any decor style because they come in so many different materials. Wood, glass, fiberboard, plastic, you name it, there is a tray in any type of material that you could want to go with your decor style. They're also super versatile because they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. You can get round trays, square trays, footed trays, tiered trays, rectangular trays, any shape and size that you could possibly want. You can also think outside the box and use many items that aren't trays as trays. For example, charcuterie boards, mirrors, picture frames, dough bowls, anything like that. You can use anything that is just slightly raised as a tray or in place of a tray to corral your needed items or to serve as a decorative base to your decorative items. There are four key steps to decorating with trays. One is obviously to start with a tray. Number two is to add something with height, a vase with flowers in it or something like that. Number three is to add in a couple of other items. Try to work with an uneven number of items on the tray. This is a good rule of thumb for most vignettes and displays in decorating as well. And then four, leave some space in and around the tray. You want the tray to be able to breathe in its space, so if it's on a table, give it some breathing room between it and the things next to it, if there's anything. And also on the tray, leave some blank space. This is a key decorating tip as well, is to always have a little bit of blank space. If you're looking for a decorative staple to keep on hand for years to come, get yourself a tray, or two, or three. They're perfect for corralling items that could otherwise look messy and haphazard. They're great as the base for vignettes and other decorative displays, and they're perfect for adding a little bit of color and or texture to your decor. Remember, trays come in all shapes and sizes and colors and materials, so they're perfect for any decor style. And remember, start with your tray, add something tall, add an uneven number of items total to your tray, and leave some breathing space in and around the tray. If you enjoyed this YouTube video and you want more ideas and inspiration for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel down below so that you don't miss another video.